if you are in the world of trading i'm sure you would have heard about high frequency trading but what exactly is high frequency trading how does it work and can you and i small retail traders can we do high frequency trading well we will answer all these questions in this video so let's start by asking a very basic question what is high frequency trading so high frequency trading is a type of an algo trading right which is short for algorithmic trading now algo trading as you guys know is when computers are used to trade on behalf of human beings right so instead of us manually placing buy orders and sell orders we program a computer to place the orders on our behalf and in the past few years algo trading has picked up a lot it has become very popular in the us algo trading accounts for over 80% of trades placed and that number in india is above 70% right so you can imagine how popular algo trading is getting now high frequency trading is a highly specialized form of algo trading where trading happens at a very high frequency so let me ask you this how many trades can you place manually within 1 second so even if you have let's say cat like reflexes right you are very very fast it's very hard to place more than a few trades per second right i mean 1 second basically goes like this but what if you have to place hundreds of trades in 1 second is it possible what about thousands of trades per second what about millions of trades that to in a fraction of a second is that possible well that is exactly what happens in the crazy world of high frequency trading so as you can imagine it is humanly not possible to execute high frequency trading manually so high frequency trading is completely automated and is done by high performance computers now apart from the frequency of trades what differentiates high frequency trading from other trading styles is the duration of the trades now think of how long your trades usually last right so if you are an intraday trader maybe you take a trade and then you maybe wait for 1 hour 2 hours or 3 hours right that's basically how much time it takes for an intraday trader to see whether the trade is working out or not but in high frequency trading the life cycle of a trade may not even last for a fraction of a second now let's just pause here and think about this a fraction of a second now i don't know about you but i am an active intraday trader and i hardly get a few trading opportunities in a day that too if i am lucky right so the question that i first asked was that how is it possible that these high frequency tradings are finding not just 1 2 3 or 10 or 100 they are finding thousands of opportunities that too in a second right so what am i missing here so that brings us to high frequency trading strategies so one thing is for sure that these guys are not following the same strategies that you and i do right so they are not like buying at support or selling at resistance or looking at pivot this and that right? they are they are doing something else so high frequency trading focuses on making very small profits over a very large number of trades so think of them as scalping but on steroids now if you don't know what scalping is i have actually made a separate video on that you should definitely watch it out but here again let's answer that question right what kind of opportunities are there in a fraction of a second now interestingly enough there are plenty of them now one of the most common strategies deployed by high frequency traders is called statistical arbitrage which looks for inefficiencies in pricing of a stock or an index so let me make it simple let think about a stock that is trading on both bsc and nsc right it can be any stock tcs reliance whatever right so on bsc let's say the stock is trading at 100 rupees whereas at nsc it is trading at let's say 100.5 rupees so because the same stock is trading at two different prices that right there is an arbitrage opportunity right so by selling the stock at a higher price and buying it at a lower price you lock in the profit which is basically the difference of these two prices minus the brokerage and stuff like that now these arbitrage strategies they have different flavors it can be for the same stock on different exchanges or between the same stock and its future the same stock and its options or it can even be within stocks of the same sector 
right so this is one example of how high frequency trading works but the real life high frequency strategies tend to be much more sophisticated than the plain simple arbitrage that we talked about take for example the news based strategies so i'm going to give you guys an example right so on 14th of june 2021 sucheta dalal the famous journalist who brought down harshad mehta empire she tweeted about irregularities in the adani group stocks and as soon as she tweeted that twitter and all the news blogs became a buzz about the adani group stocks and because of that the stock went down 25% in the first hour and then it went back up 25% in the rest of the day when the company issued clarifications about the claims that were made against it now this is the perfect example of how news based strategies work in high frequency trading right so these algorithms they are constantly scanning for negative or positive keywords in the news stories all around the internet for example if you see adani enterprise along with words such as fraud allegations cheating investigation etc right so the algorithm when it gets a critical number of news citing about this negative information it automatically initiates short trades to take advantage of the fall in the prices right so basically it is inferring that there is something going wrong with this company and it the stock will come down so automatically without thinking without consulting with anybody else the strategy will initiate short positions similarly if you see good news about a stock right so let's say for a pharmaceutical company it can be an fda approval or for banking stocks it can be rbi approval right so there are different varieties of good news uh, that you can have about different sectors so on the arrival of good news these high frequency trades are equally ready to buy these stocks and take long positions now the next question comes that who exactly does high frequency trading so as you can imagine that high frequency trading requires a lot of infrastructure a lot of programming and a lot of money frankly right so you and i retail investors we are not the ones doing high frequency trading high frequency trading is typically done by investment banks hedge funds and institutional investors and it's not like you and i we cannot do it at some point of time when the technology evolves maybe even we can do it right but up until that time we have to basically assume that only the big players have the capital to do this kind of trading so guys so far we have discussed about uh, all the good aspects of high frequency trading so let me just bring about some of the negative aspects of high frequency trading so high frequency trading has made a lot of money for a lot of people over the years but who are these people right so as we saw that these are basically the big institutions now if you consider trading to be a zero sum game if these big institutions are making money from high frequency trading who are they making money off they are clearly making money from the little guy that is you and me right now the second problem with high frequency trading is the strategies they deploy now some of the strategies they design are perfectly fine they are legitimate but some of them are actually designed to mislead now this is something which we will discuss maybe in further videos but just to give you guys an idea these high frequency strategies they sometimes flood the stock exchanges with fake orders that they never intend to execute at the first place right so as soon as the price reaches near the orders price these orders are automatically cancelled in fact majority of the orders that are placed by high frequency traders are actually cancelled and because of these fake orders stock exchanges around the world are prone to some very big flash crashes and we have talked about one such instance in a very interesting video that we have made recently you should definitely watch it out right guys so so these are the negative aspects of high frequency trading that we have to be aware of but then the question comes out okay what is that we can do about high frequency trading can we stop it well not really right the so technology is here to stay and although Uh, our stock market regulator sebi and the stock exchanges have tried to curb the illegal practices whatever they do these high frequency strategies are one step ahead right so people always figure out a creative way of making money from these strategies so anyway i think uh, it's a very fascinating topic we will have more videos on this topic later on we will focus on strategies we will probably focus on some case studies and we will also discuss some of the darker aspects of high frequency trading but as of now i hope that you at least got a big picture view of what 
हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी ट्रेडिंग इज